In his first start with the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series here at Tazewell Speedway for the 6th Annual Buddy Rogers Memorial 44, coming home with an impressive third place finish out of Crossville, Tennessee, Brandon Williams. Brandon, you got to be tickled to death first time out and come home with a podium finish. Yes, sir, Mr. Roby, I sure am. You know, uh, I feel like we've got a, this is a really good program. Uh, I've got a really good group of people running this deal. And uh, with, without their help the past few weeks, I probably wouldn't have been here. But uh, we had bad luck early on, didn't get any hot laps, come out and done a decent qualifying, and uh, had, a, had a good finish. That was impressive. No hot laps. You've never been in this race car with this engine before. And to come to a place like Tazewell Speedway with a cold race car, come out and top five in qualifying, that's impressive, my friend. Well, I appreciate that. You know, I, I tried to study it. Uh, I didn't know if we was even going to get to qualify, to be honest with you. And uh, being we're uh, pretty decent mechanics, uh, we got a, a little bit of a break. Uh, we had a power steering pump go down, and somehow uh, we made it work. Somehow. At the end of the race, you were one of the fastest cars on the racetrack as uh, Mac McCarter and Ronnie Johnson were battling in heavy lap traffic. And uh, you were telling me uh, earlier tonight, uh, right after the race, that you kind of laid back the first part of the race. I did. Uh, of course, me and Ronnie's run together for years, and uh, I started right behind him. I noticed, he, of course, he runs a very small fuel cell for weight distribution purposes. Uh, being he filled it all the way full, he had an overflow, and it was hitting me right in the helmet. And uh, I was trying, I had probably 20 shields on, um, about the fifth lap when the fuel vapors got between them, I had to pull them all off. And uh, the racetrack being that it's pretty wide open, fairly wet and tacky, they was just filling my face full. So I decided I needed to lay back, maybe a car on the start, uh, wanted to protect myself, wanted what I could see. We got into lap traffic and I was blind for three laps. I don't know how I made it through there, but uh, I was just trying to protect myself. Uh, they was clocking us. Uh, they said last 15 laps we was, could have been the fastest car. But, uh, you know, in a crate-type race, it's hard to make up a lot of ground in a fairly quick amount of time. But I seen their battle. I didn't want to get in the mix of it because here, if they wreck in front of you, you're a good possibility you'll be involved in it. So I was waiting for the outcome. But I'm very satisfied with third place. Let me get this straight. Super late model race, you can't see but you're up there running with them. How do you do that? You got to have a good man on your shoulder. Uh, I lost my grandpa in September of last year, and I've got his sticker in my car. He's number 97, and I rub that thing every time I pull on the racetrack. And uh, he always wanted to come up here and watch us race, but there was never the right opportunity for us to be here. And I just feel like he's riding with me every time I'm in that car, uh, you know. Um, and uh, you just got to have uh, good supervision, good people around you, and, and uh, you got to thank the Lord every time that you're in there and come out safely. Well, I know he'd have been very proud of you tonight. What's your future with the uh, Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series? Well, I tell you, uh, I've run a lot of different series in my, in my racing. I've been racing for about 16 years, and uh, most of the time you don't get a good feel. You don't get a good welcome. But I tell you what, Mike Vaughn, I just got to give him – uh, a really good pat on the back, even though I, I haven't seen him yet. But uh, without his help uh, and all the rest of you guys, I, I probably wouldn't be here. So my plans are I will, unless something beyond my power, I will be at the rest of these races, every one of them. And uh, I hope to improve a program. We may have a deal with Masterbuilt working out pretty good. So I hope next year to have – two cars and I'm going to run every race that they've got because one and I tell it to anybody that's got any questions about what series should I run in this is the one that you need to start in and maybe just plant you some roots. Well we're definitely looking forward to that a fine addition to the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series and good job tonight my friend we look forward to seeing you at the rest of the races this year and uh, uh, all through next year. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see a lot more of our people come out and support this. Brandon Williams, his maiden voyage with the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series tonight in the 6th Annual Buddy Rogers Memorial 44 at Tazewell Speedway in Tazewell, Tennessee. He comes home with a third-place finish.